can get it. Let's go. Channel, today we are going to be looking at the new Vanguard Call of Duty and I'm going to be showing you guys the settings of it. I have some problems um, just, you know, logging into my other account in the multiplayer. I don't know why, but I, I'm trying to fix it and then I'll hopefully get to the, you know, the guns and everything. I'll just grind. And I just want to show you guys a good setting for um, this in case you guys are wondering. Uh, let's just jump in the settings. And by the way, that was zombies. Obviously, I just came because I, I couldn't go anywhere else. But yeah. Um, so uh, I'm obviously on controller. I will or I will probably have a mouse and keyboard setting, but uh, I haven't played mouse and keyboard for so long. So I, I'm just on controller. This is a controller setting, but obviously the graphics and audio are different as well. So let's get into it. I have the sensitivity obviously on nine, and it's not too slow. It's not too fast. So is is good for the movement and everything. <coughs> and um, ground vehicle sensitivity on nine T. <laughs> obviously air vehicle sensitivity one uh, ADS sensitivity multiplayer you want it you want to put it on 90 uh, and it's like yeah 90 to 1 obviously um custom sensitivity presume you just put it off I use a uh, bumper jumper tactical flipped so yeah it's a bit weird because I, I I don't have a scuff controller so I jump with my l2 and that makes me like makes my jump shots my you know um slide cancels and everything really good and um that's the only way i can actually play without it i don't know i, I can't ha have like three fingers on like three but different buttons so i just move around the buttons a bit and uh, obviously i aim downside with L1 and shoot with R1 because it's faster, way faster. Because obviously L2, if you hold it, by the time you go down, then it's gonna aim down sight. So it's it's gonna be a few seconds delay. Even though you're gonna build your gun so fast and aim, you're not gonna like really, you know, have a really fast aim. But yeah, um, uh, vertical aim on foot standard and um, ground vehicles. These are all standard. Um, you want to have your vibration off because it just distracts. It's, it's a distraction basically. Um, this is on ADS sensitivity. This is instant. Just put this. Let it be on default. These are all default. Um, it's all really default for now. And here. Um, it's just mini input dead zone the dead zone depends on your controller basically you know you just gotta mess it around just see how it goes it depends if your controller is pretty old you probably have to adjust a bit of your dead zone for your um r3 and l3 and uh, which is these two if i'm not wrong um so you just yeah it's these two so you just see if if for example you open a map the minimum and your literally your um, R3 is going like your camera is going to the right your this, this basically means your dead zone is not fixed so you just have to adjust it from here mine is fine um, I might have to jump in the game and see how it goes and then you have gameplay if you tap R2 you go to the right side you have gameplay you have aim assist here you have to put it on on if you put it on off it's pretty difficult man <sighs> yeah man controller is like you have one thumb to aim li literally against the keyboard and mouse which have the whole hand and arm but that's a that's a different conversation for a different day anyway uh, aim assist on obviously weapon mount activation is ads melee simple as that weapon mount movement is just you know you just come out and you will just move you know um ammo weapon switch you just have it on default blind fire it's gonna be on on in default which is good um automatic airborne mental I don't know about this but um, it's just like it, it mounts automatically but um, it's, you just put it on default if you wanna like have a you know if you wanna really yourself to do it you can just put it on off you know can't lie to you <laughs> um, these are all on the, um, th this is um, just default automatic sprint I put it on automatic tactical sprint because it helps your movement a lot you can just run a lot faster and easier and you don't have to destroy your controller to, you know just go forward for like 10 seconds you're gonna have to click like 20 times you know auto move forward is off sprint cancel reload and this is basically when you're reloading if you move forward it will cancel the reload and you want it on in case there's an enemy coming 
and you just move forward you cancel the reload or you you have to you can also obviously switch your guns but that's going to take you two guns to switch switch back to your secondary switch back to the first so it's harder um door bash is on obviously uh, all of these 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 two are um on default uh slide behavior you wanted to have it on tap because it's faster if you have it on hold you gotta you have to hold your slide i don't know if it's r3 or um sorry circle um if you have it on tap you basically just tap it once and you slide um probably a lot of you already have it on that aim down slide behavior obviously on hold um these are all default <coughs> defaults and um, this one is important one um it's about the reload and like the, for example let's say you reload with the square button or whatever basically what it what this does is um when you're above a loot and you want to reload you can hold the square and you reload if you tap it then you know um wait i, I think i said it the other way yeah, yeah, yeah um if you hold it and uh, you can read it obviously there as well but i want to explain it but uh, you tap to reload and hard to interact so um that's up to you some people really are um like they have you know other <clears throat> you might be used to something else you know but um for me i might put it on the interact because um you know i tap to interact hold to reload that's what i'm used to basically but um yeah i had it on reload for wrong so <laughs> yeah interact so if there is a loot you can tap you grab the loot you can hold you reload so yeah that's basically it. these are all um again default let's go to graphics safe area is normal brightness i like to have it on 53 because uh it's just this is good brightness for me um color customization if you go here i'm gonna show you two things you can go to enemy color and put it all the way to the red because this one is like orange ish red it might confuse you sometimes but you could have it obviously on whatever color you want but my um personal favorite is obviously red my party color will be green you can put it on blue or anything like the same team color or you can put it on purple like whatever color you like but um yeah this, this is just normal like your sense will be so much faster if you see a complete red dot and if you say complete green dot and you are yellow you know like that's just normal and um yeah there's gonna be you can obviously hold, put some um, filters as well i'm playing on ps4 so um i don't know if the filters are the best but I i'm gonna just try it out later on but um i don't think it needs any filter for now um field of view i put on 120 i play 120 um this is the first time i'm gonna be playing with um fov on the console because it's literally um i didn't i didn't have the cold war so i didn't like it i just bought this one because it has the modern warfare engine and um yeah i'm gonna be playing on 120 field of view and then i'm gonna have it on independent for the aim because um it's just too small man if you want to have it on affected you aim and it's the same as your fov you literally cannot track the guy it's hard so you could you could try it it might you know aim assist might help you a bit to be honest but if the guy is far it's super hard to see him as well it's just yeah independent is the best uh, camera movement is um adjust the sensitivity of camera shake movement does not apply to all camera movements you can put it on less than 75 or less than 50 because 100 is basically if a bomb drops somewhere your camera gonna go shaking like so much you can have it it's gonna be like a crazy you know game you know um obviously if you want to play the um, campaign you know it's gonna be fun but if you want to play as a you know really competitive player and really you know get into it you need to have this on like one of these two you can have it on less than 50 it's not gonna be really fun that's why i'm saying less than 75 will just give you the camera shake as well when the bomb drops or something and then you'll have everything right as well it's not too much it's not too slow uh, too low um world motion blur you want to have this off motion blur for weapons off and um, depth of field off these are all literally the, the things that will not make you a good player because look at this if you turn around and there's a guy in that right side corner you will not be able to see him literally you're not you're gonna miss it <laughs> that, that's just yeah that's just good for campaign you know you you move like he's a real person basically yeah but uh, you want to have it on off and then we go to audio you have your master volume 100 all the way up music volume you can have it on like 10 5 you know because music is nice but it's a lot of times a distraction when you get you know 
it sounds like it just suddenly plays music you know if you really want to hear the music obviously you can put it up but for me i'm a competitive player i'll put it on five or ten you know five is fine dialogue volume you want to have this on like 60 65 even 50 i would say because um if, if someone shouts a cluster strike let's say or i don't know dogs are coming or something you can hear that and you know there's dogs because if you put it on low 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 you're not going to be here that and then suddenly you're going to die from the, your back with a dog and you'll be like wait where did the dog come from you know yeah it's weird sound effect well you want to put it on 100 because the footsteps and everything is very important to hear and um this basically the footsteps on this game is apparently really low so you want to hear as much as you can and if the guy yeah it's just if they run ninja you're not gonna be hearing anyway but it's good to have it on 100 hit marker sound effect i have it on vanguard i haven't changed this yet because i want to see how the sound is on vanguard i haven't played the multiplayer yet so i don't know how the sound is <coughs> but yeah um you can put it on classic if you really classic old school you know hit marker sound from uh, call of duties but um yeah <laughs> and then um, your audio mix you want to go on headphones obviously because headphones will just help you a lot to hear everything and this is default voice chat is on or off up to you voice chat volume you have you want to have this one like a bit high up so you can hear your friends talking in case you don't have a party or like a discord or something you can hear them microphone volume you want to have it on if you are the, if you're talking like quietly but if you're talking like loud and it's like early morning no one's sleeping you can put it a bit lower because you're gonna shout and someone's gonna go deaf man trust me uh watch that effect it's no effect really and uh, it's just default go to interface you have the english obviously i'm english language um this is text size it's fine subtitles on for me because um, i'm gonna put it off later on for like the thumbnails and everything but yeah i'm talking this on helps you sometimes but personally i play it on off most of the time and the size is default and this one is basically the background of the subtitle if you go on 50 you will see how it looks in the picture and then on one it's gonna be completely black on the side i put it on 30 so i have a bit of it but not too much um text chat whenever you know all these are all default default really nothing too important um these are all gonna be default um mute sound warning it's gonna be on anyway on default here this is an important one oh, let me go down and off minimap shape you want to have it on square because on the circle you're not going to be able to see as much as you can on the square the square just gives you way more information and um yeah it's just pretty simple square is literally uh, the same like that size you can see it has a bigger like um more <laughs> viewing point if you know what i mean minimal rotation you want to have it on on definitely uh cross hair bubbling this is for the people who gets a bit you know um sickness if the cross hair like moves a lot you know but you can put it on off if you're like that um it helps you because when you shoot when you hip fire basically um that um crosshair is not gonna be moving but on on is gonna be moving <laughs> um yeah recent main tutorial this is like all default nothing too important and yeah that's it basically for the settings of vanguard <clears throat> i hope you guys enjoyed it you know it was a quick little video i don't know how long it took but um yeah it probably took a bit but <laughs> it's a quick little video i'm gonna make sure my account is everything sorted for um call of duty multiplayer because um yeah i just cannot log in but yeah I'll, I'll have my um you know videos my grinding soon on the channel if you want to you know see the videos as well make sure you subscribe to the channel you know if you like this video hit the like button it helps me out a lot and um yeah again i hope you enjoyed the video it's uh, really you know not much i just wanted to do a real quick you know setting video um i hope you have a wonderful day and peace